Hey there! In this video, I'll show you how to calculate product prices using equations that include values like dimensions or material costs. Let's pretend I'm building a customizer to sell dining tables made from different types of wood. The customer can specify the width and length of his dining table, and he can choose from four types of wood. Our dining table's price might be calculated by multiplying its width by its length and its wood price. Let's see how to do that with Kickflip's pricing equation feature. To create the width and length text fields, I clicked on the blue plus button, then I selected text input as the input type and none as the display type. To include it in an equation, we need to specify a few properties of the width and height questions. Let's select width and take a look. Next to input type, I'll click on the cog icon. Under characters, it's important to pick numbers only. Then I'll toggle on allow decimals since I want my customers to have the option to add decimals. All right, we're ready to create our pricing equation. Let's make sure our product is published and then we'll head to the pricing tab. From here, next to extra prices, let's click on the equations tab. I'll click on add equation to get to the equation editor. To create my equation, I'll first select the width question, then I'll pick the multiplication operator, and then I'll select the length question. Great, now I need to add the wood prices. Let's click on Add Line and select Wood. The wood answers are displayed here, and I can enter a price per square inch for each. Let's do this. Here, I can enter a minimum and maximum price, Let's say I don't want to sell tables under $900, so I'll enter $900. There's one more thing I'll add to our equation, a fixed value. To ensure a healthy profit margin, I want to multiply the price by 1.5. Let's click on Add Line again and click on the 1, 2, 3 icon here. That's how I can add my fixed value, and I'll pick Multiply as the operator. If I want to move a line, I can simply click on the More icon next to it and then Move Up or Move Down. I've just done this because I want wood to be the last line of my equation. Since I've toggled on Display Cumulative Price, the total of the equation will be displayed on each of the wood answers. Great! Let's go see if it works. I'll click on Add and then I'll save my pricing. Let's go back to the Build tab and hit the Preview button. Now, let's select our pricing right here. Okay, we can see that the price is set to $900 because that's the minimum price I've set. I'll type in our custom table measurements and see what happens. 22 inches by 120 inches. It works! The total price has been calculated here and under the wood answers are small black bubbles displaying the cumulative price. We're done with this video. The documentation article about this feature is linked in the description. Please don't hesitate to contact us on the live chat if you have any questions. Thanks for watching!